Hey guys, do you want to be in the newest community in Kissimmee? Well, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando real estate agent. And today we are in the heart of Kissimmee, right off kind of uh, Canoe Creek Road and by the Turnpike. And we are in a brand new construction community that is called Hayden Field at Cross Prairie by Jones Homes. And behind me, guys, we have the Rosemary floor plan. Now, in this gorgeous floor plan, we have four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, an office, a loft the two car garage, 2882 square feet for your enjoyment. And this is a single family home, of course, that has $65 a month HOA and a 1342 annual CDD fee. This is a great community. It's gonna have many amenities. And when that comes out, I'll let you know what they are. Of course, we're still in the construction time frame. <laughs> They're still making houses out here. They just started, but again, stay with me hit the subscribe buttons down below and follow me along for this tour. All right guys, so here we are outside of the Rosemary and outside of the Rosemary, you can see it has like a farmhouse look. You have the peaks up here with the slats. There is your two car garage. You're also gonna have pavers leading up to the home, which is fantastic, right? Guys, moving on in, they do provide you with landscaping as you can see, but we do have a porch here. And it's a pretty big porch, Pam. Look at it. No, it's a nice size porch. Yeah. I do love the stones that I they provide. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Oh, the stone. I stole it from yes, you. Yes, you did. <laughs> they do have stones right here out the front. I love that. But I do love the transom window. And I'm going to show you when we go inside what that goes to. But here is our black door with our ultra modern uh, code lock right here. That's awesome. But let's go inside. All right, guys. So as we come into this model, Again, as I always say, this is an ultra modern upgraded model home. <laughs> but you know, you can see they did a little built in with the mirror. I do like that, right? The little uh, uh, texture to the wall when you come in. I love that. You can just drop your keys. Go ahead. The ceiling height here. Ceiling height. Okay, we're starting with the ceiling height. What's yes, the ceiling height? height. Wait, I got to get it all in. Yeah. It is 20 feet. And well, I'm going to take the camera from Pam. I'm going to show you something, right? You see it? All that railing. It looks over onto the foyer area of this home. So I don't know if I got that really good, but there's your stairs. There's Pam. All right, but we're gonna continue on. We're gonna leave the stairs for later and we're gonna show you where you stick Harry. Harry goes in here. Harry, <laughs> this is Harry's room. This is Harry's mansion. No more, yeah, no more, no more little closet. This, this is his room. This is Harry's New York apartment. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, backing up. We got a bunch of doors here, so let's show you what they are. Here's your garage. All right, nice little... Oh, we have a nice little storage here. Yeah, little storage area back in the two-door, uh, two-car, right? Really nice. Love that. All right, let's go. Let's play Bob Barker. What's behind door number two? <laughs> I know. AC. It's AC closet. There you go. There you go. Nice little AC closet. Do I win the car or do I win the... I think which... it's behind door number three. You win a new pantry space. Oh, Yay! how exciting. <laughs> oh, look at that. I get Perrier. And that's all, she only won that, guys, because she bet a dollar above the amount. <laughs> 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 all right guys now the island wow this island is amazing pam did you measure this yes it's almost seven foot square seven foot square this with is this a, rainfall oh my good oh and the rain i love the rainfall feature on the island what that means guys is that instead of seeing the inside part of the island it is very uniform because they took the other piece of piece of quartz and they put it here on both sides to finish off the look now you have three seats here, but of course you could put another three here. Six people easily can sit around this island, but I also love the aluminum farm sink. That is a nice feature. It's huge. Oh yeah, it's really huge. Now, and you have cabinetry on the bottom. You do have your refrigerator cubby here. You have double stacks on top of all your 42 inch cabinets. And those double stacks are 80% display cases, meaning if you have China like they have here, 
you can show it and display it and only take it out for Thanksgiving. <laughs> now I do love the window also here. So talking about the bones of the kitchen, that is a nice feature. They did finish off the top of the surface areas here uh, as another white quartz looking uh, stone. But look at that interesting futuristic hexagon uh, tiling on the backsplash. Yeah, that it's is... like metal and something else. A star, a wall from Star Wars. Yeah, no, it's very interesting. I yeah. do agree. Yeah, uh, coffee station here or over here, Pam? Well, I don't know because from this side mm -hmm. to that corner yeah. is nine feet, and then from that side to that side is eleven feet. So I you, picked the nine feet side. I would agree. Yeah. All right, but to add to that, guys, we have. The gourmet kitchen, which includes your range that takes the smells out of the house. I love the double-sided uh, um, cabinets here with the 42 inch and the double stack. But then we have our electric range burner here. It has a five range burner. Really nice, it's integrated into the surface top and this, all these products are Samsung. So I don't sell for Samsung. I just mentioned what's here. <laughs> we have our large drawers down here for our pots and pans. Love that. Love the functionality of all the drawers. Let me check the corner one. I think they're just open flap, right? Yes. Okay, there we go. But that's still good for big stuff like your blender, your ninja, you know, all that stuff, right? Now, of course, we have our double stack ovens. So it's our convection oven here. And then we have our main oven here. And of course, for our furry friends, we have our doggy drawer. It's a baby one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good size one. More double stacks to finish off the look. And then there's full wood beams into the living area. This way really runs through the home and you know, just the way they styled it. I love it. Now the pendant lightings are really nice as well, but we're gonna flow right here to the informal dining area. I love that they have a window on the backside of that nice chandelier and you can seat easily more people. You can get a bigger table than this to fit this area if you really needed to, because I think they shortened it up for wider spaces but you can also get something like this if it fits your needs. Now, I'm not gonna go this way. Let's back out this way, guys, real quickly. And what I wanna show you into the little hallway, aside from your thermostat and your linen closet to begin the hallway. I'm gonna show you why that linen closet's there, right? To your left, we have our laundry room. So there's your washer and dryer. Which has a surprise at the end. Yep, and then show them around the corner, Pam, real quick. Oh, you want me to do it now? Yeah, I want you to, no, no, around the corner. Over, oh, around this, this way. corner? Yeah, the other counter. Oh, Where? I thought so, you were gonna give up the surprise. No, not yet. <laughs> we have the 42 inch cabinets on top. We have a utility sink, love the gray stone here. And then we have white cabinets to finish off the laundry space. I also love the flooring. The flooring is a nice little upgrade. Uh, 18 by 18 tile, which is fantastic. Now, Pam went through a door through the other side of the laundry room. I'm gonna show you where that goes in a minute, but let us go to the half bath that we have here, or AKA the powder room for our guest. I love the penny tiles on the wall. I love that, it looks like real pennies. Yeah, yeah, and, and I like, you know, it's easy to clean. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, flowing from the uh, half bath, we have what they're using as a flex space, but this is typically a bedroom anyways. Love the built-in here. This is a very unique built-in that they've done, but this unfortunately does not come with the home. It is just to show you what you can do with the space. And if you wanted to make this a flex space, you have it. Now we have a window here, right? That gives natural lighting. But the reason why this is not a traditional flex space is because we do have our closets here. And Pam's gonna have to come here to show you how deep it goes. It is not divided. It runs Oh, it's all continuous? It's continuous. So wow. Pam's gonna show you that while she gives you the size of the bedroom. Which is 13 by 11. So 13 by 11, that's a good size actually. Really good no, size. No, this is a great closet that yeah. there's no sidewall there or nothing. And I wanna point out one thing. That built-in is about a foot and a half deep. So if Pam measured 13 by 11, it's probably more like 13 by 12, 14 or so give or take. But let's go out, guys. Let's get to the other side of this home and back where the informal dining area is, we have our family gathering room right here. What I love is that we have two windows, then we have these glamorous opposing siding uh, pocket doors, which is fantastic. Now you can fit big furniture in this room. 
Big TV, man, they are listening. Silent. <laughs> and we have a cadenza here. Look at the coffee table, it's so big. Nice seating area, right? This is ostrich leather, you see that? Yeah. No, I love this lamp. <laughs> oh, the lamp is nice. It's like lamp Edison is nice. Mold, I think it's cool. And then we have a seating area in front of Pam, more coffee tables, large couch. So lots of things fit in this area very easily. What's the size? Well, the living room itself is 18 by 16. Okay. If you were to go from the kitchen to the patio door, so from okay. the kitchen to the patio doors is 38 feet. 38 eight, feet. 38 feet by 18. Wow. So all this living, open living area, yes. that's a lot of square footage for entertaining. You, have, you know, friends, parents, family come over. Everyone has a spot that they can converse with each other and there's no walls in between. Now we have these, what I like to call dynasty doors. Woo. <laughs> and they open up like, I love the way they open up. I just fascinates me. But we do have an enclosed lanai right here, right? Well, not enclosed, covered lanai. We have a covered lanai. This has the uh, wicker furniture here, and we have more furniture on the side, but we also have a, a little plug-in GFCI here for lighting. But on the opposite wall, where there's two more GFCIs, we have the summer kitchen, right? Now, this is obviously an option that you can get. It's an upgrade, including that T-wall, but you have the range on top, beautiful grill, access door for the plumbing, access door for the, for the grill, and then your refrigerator right here but you also have the two GFCIs, and I love the white quartz. Great choices. Now, that flows out to the pool area. Now guys, obviously the pool does not come with the home. It's just the builder showing you what you can do with the space that you are provided when you buy these homes and the lot size of those homes. So, I mean, it's beautiful. I don't need to say any more because your pool is probably going to be different. <laughs> well, I could just say the back wall accent piece is, is really nice. Yeah, that's a great idea. And then what they did was they built this yeah. wall to yep. hide the ACs. Yep. All right. So now we're going to go into the primary suite. The primary suite where at first we get to our primary closet, the walk-in closet. This one is seven by five. That is a big closet, guys. Seven by five. You can put your clothes and your motorcycle away, <laughs> right? We have, now this is a his and hers. So we have another walk-in closet here, right? Now, this one is, did you measure this one? Yes. This is about six by five. It's six feet here. And then you have behind Some more the space door, back. more space. Yeah, nice. And then you see me keep going, right? We're back into our laundry area, which leads to that sub hallway to the other flex room over here. So you have a through way from the hallway, the front of the kitchen into your primary suite. I love that idea. That's a fantastic idea, right? I love shortcuts. I'm a shortcut guy. <laughs> Anything to get quicker to the cookies. Oh, that's right. <laughs> And so we got two windows here for natural lighting in the primary space. Now this primary is how big, Pam? 16 by 14. 16 by 14 means you can fit a king size bed, long nightstands. It does have a tray ceiling and a super long cadenza mirror and another seating area. So this is a pretty big and you know unique primary uh, bedroom suite. Very nice. Now we flow back into the primary bath suite, and this has a grand shower. You got the glass panel wall with the black accents, transom window, black tiling, and then the light tile on the walls with the stone tile, pebble tiles on the floor. And of course you have your bench. And this is nine by three. Nine by three. You can take your motorcycle from your closet and you just car wash it here. Exactly. <laughs> it all fits. <laughs> Now guys, as you come out, or as Pam comes out of that bath, uh, that shower, uh, we have a dual vanity here with the light granite on top and the, and the same cabinet she follows, following from the kitchen over with the, the brass knobs. Very nice, large mirror here, right? And pendant lighting, but we also have the commode room here. And then very quickly, Pam's gonna show you the linen closet associated.
Now, guys, follow me back out. We're gonna do a little quick fast forward action to the front of the stairs. All right, guys, so here we are at the stairs and while Pam is going up the stairs, I'm gonna let you know how close we are to things from this gorgeous community. So guys, we are 26 minutes to Disney, 27 minutes to Universal Studios, eight minutes to the nearest Publix, and 22 minutes from MCO Airport, Orlando International. Hey guys, so here we are on the second floor of this beautiful plan, the Rosemary, and I love the windows here. Now, they're not even picture windows. These are actual windows you can open all the way up, as you can see the clips on the top, but they do provide light with that transom window down below in the stairway Oops, area. So I it's, got it. Wait, you can't see it. <laughs> so it's Oops, always that it. fresh and airy feel when you're coming through the home. Now guys, first bedroom, as soon as you get to the stairs, you go to the right. I wanna show you the princess of the home, her room here, right? Beautiful, nice, full-size bed. You, you can fit the nice uh, stands easily. You have a window for natural lighting. Love the, the ballerina decoration. That's adorable. I mean, <laughs> and plus that it's made out of flowers. Yeah, the, flower, the fake flowers, that's nice. Really cool, really cool design, right? But that's not the most interesting part of this bedroom. Let's start with the walk-in closet right here. And Pam can tell you the size as we're doing the walk-in. Seven by five. That's just the walk-in, right? Yes. But how about the room? Oh, the room is 13 by 12. So room is 13 by 12, walk-in closet seven by five. And you know what, I'm moving out the way because this is an ensuite, guys. And that means it has its own bathroom. With the pretty pink tile. That is pretty awesome. I like how they, they matched it, really nice. Niche on the side there, window on top of the toilet. And then you have your vanity with the pendant lighting mirror, that gray top and the white cabinets. And the dark hexagon floor. That is cool. All right, guys, now moving out of this bedroom, and I just want to point out this rail is amazing. It's very modern. Yeah, I love that. But we get to this point of the home where we have our utility closet, and it's deep. Yes, it is. Well, this yeah. is the second one. The other one's on the first floor. Yeah, but this one has a little storage in the front. Yes, it does, and it's carpeted. And it's carpeted. <laughs> but outside of that door to the utility, we have a small little loft area right here. Look at these TVs, Pam. They're hitting it on the nose, right? Now look at the two windows with natural lighting coming through, love it. Love that it's set up as a study area for the kids. Love that very much with the built-in shelves. I told you in one of my videos how easy that is to do. Remember, come see me down at the Y, I'll let you know how to do them. But <laughs> what's and up, it's Pam? eight by 10. Eight by 10. And Pam likes the light. Oh yeah, that light is nice. And as we go into the next bedroom in, uh, on the right side of the loft, here we go. We have two windows for natural lighting, a big old lifted uh, full-size bed. Love the number 22 and that pinstriping uh, accent. That is really neat. And the light. <laughs> and the light. <laughs> Love the, uh, the sports theme. And then we have our closet over there, which is a half step in. And this room is 13 by 11. 13 by 11 is the size of this room. And 13 11 lets you fit in these nice locker room uh, nice stands. Where do they get these nice stands from? The builders? I don't know. I don't know. This is pretty cool. I need one of those QR codes so I can copy everything. I need it for an office space. Like, those are awesome. Yeah. So, all right. And as we go back into the hallway, we step out. We have another closet. Let's start with this closet, which is a large linen closet. And our bathroom here for the second floor, for the loft and the rooms. Love the, uh, the uh, pedestal. Then love the Listello with the transom window. It goes all the way up, that's very nice. Yeah, that sleek tile, bathtub, yeah. right? A little niche. A little picture of Rover. And then we have the pendant lighting, mirror, and the vanity here with that white cabinet. Very nice. Now guys, entering this final bedroom here, love the record theme, right? Very nice. Love the guitars. It's a music theme. You know, whoever's kids these are, they're talented. Let yes. me tell you. We got yes. ballerinas, musicians, and athletes. So <laughs> so anyways, I look at this pillow. I like with the, the pillow. records. I That's, know. I'm sorry but guys, we're getting off track. This, I love this. I want this. Oh, the microphone light. That is so cool. They did a great job. They did a great job. There's a lot of funky stuff in here. Yeah. Look at the window here for natural lighting, of course. What is the size of this awesome room, Pam? 13 by 11. 13 by 11. So you guys can fit this style design. I would just steal it. 
and put exactly. it the same they did here because whoever's kid is musically inclined would love this room. But enough of that, here is the half step in. And guys, that is your Rosemary floor plan. Give us a call, of course. Uh, my number is 407-790-0929. Remember, don't ever go without us. Would you go to a court without a lawyer? Do not go without making the biggest decision in your life without some kind of representation. Again, Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. See you guys on the next video.